Welcome back to D20 House. Guys, we just came back from our five minute break. It's a Monday night. We've been playing My Hero Academia, Dungeons and Dragons. Woo! Where have we left our heroes? Seven men. Reflex. In trouble. Walker is dead. Psycho <laughs> Misos! And he shoots a huge barrage of plasma bolts at you. I mean, it's a natty team. Like, I'm doing my best. Right? What's the total? You're definitely uh, like gonna have. 31. Yeah. Like, You're definitely it's a 42 have. save, right? Reflex. Oh, reflex. Uh, 24. Really? Oh, my reflex is terrible. Oh, oh shit. Lord, reflex. <laughs> oh, wait, I have friendship too. That's 30. Okay, good, 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 good. You're good. Uh, Kirishima failed, but he's gonna, gonna save you. I don't think it's gonna, gonna unless he rolls. Well, you're gonna take half, but I, I reroll ones. No ones. <gasps> you got like seven hit points, though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, well, you're just going down. Yeah. Uh, cool. The thing buzzes with you, and. Uh, Out. Yeah, like you're told to exit the arena immediately, and you feel from your um, sensors and bracelets and anklets and stuff a strong magnetic force pulling you towards yeah. the edge of the stage. <laughs> you just like, okay, I have to go, I have to go. Gets you are flash. hit by this barrage. Tetsu, 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 Tetsu to this and just see him if everything goes wrong. Uh, you you are hit by this barrage, immediately knocked out of the fight, and you have to leave. Sorry. Yeah. I did um, good. But let's see how well Kirishima takes it. And then I'm like, fuck you. Back to full health and like normal again, right? Yeah. Because we were in a simulation the whole time. And yeah. Da, 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 da. Is it just... Kind of like, ooh, ow, and then you see that your little health bar going down. Is that kind of the idea, or does it like actually feel like you're getting that low? You feel like you're getting st like it stings, like it's like your body is in a little bit of pain. The bees. Uh, so just so that you can like react appropriately, mm -hmm. um, and don't just tank everything. Yeah. But you also do like see, um, just like a little health bar. If you look out outside the arena, there's like a wall with uh, oh, yeah. heads up display and stuff like that. So, or the a display. Uh, that's forty four points of damage. <laughs> Uh, Kirishima tanks it and reduces a lot of it, but not enough. Uh, he's, he would officially be considered bloodied at this point. And, uh, that's, that's Star Saber's turn. Yeah. Kite. He I'm just a... blasted this holy barrage of fucking plasma bolts. You were barely outside of its range. Ooh. Fuck him up, Kite. I'm gonna just step up and I'm gonna do what I do. Absolutely. Maybe. I could use being slow. I figured it would be better. All right. That's not the right one. All right. That hit last time. <laughs> it's plus six. Oh, but he has reactions now. He does. Plus 16. Uh, so 23. When friendship. 20, if I use friendship, it would be 27. 27. That will hit. Yeah, I'll use friendship. He throws up a barrier, you shatter it, but yeah, sure. Do some damage. Mm -hmm. Plus 17. Oh, That's shit. 22 again. <laughs> the 22s. Okay. I don't know about Keep going. You. Gotta go buy a lotto ticket out of this. Hey, you got another attack? I do have <laughs> one more attack, but this time it's just that plus 10. Damn. So we're hoping for a crit here. Almost. We're always hoping for a crit. Yeah, almost a a two. Oh, great. So no. No hit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, swing your scythe. Uh, one hit, and then the other, he just dodges it deftly. <laughs> Well, it's not that. It's the fact that he can re-roll the re-roll. So it's like, mm -hmm. I was gonna, I was gonna give him my re-roll, and then it was like, well, he'd have to hit oh, high, but then you can. I thought you had like twelve. I had eight, and I burned okay. them. and burned them like crazy. Very cool. <laughs> well, I knew I would. We should. need to yeah. roll to hit, Kai. Um, AC is twenty-seven. His AC is twenty-five when he uses a reaction. Plus. Oh, seventeen. Plus. So I'm, well, it's twenty-five. Plus. Yeah, fifteen. Plus. On his low roll, fifteen. On his higher That's roll, eleven. Is. Well, how much, how much of a difference does one hit guy make on him? He's, 20 he's, points of damage. He's High down pretty low. He's down pretty He's under 100. <laughs> take the... You should take your hero point. You can have my... Whirlwind. Okay, she's... Oh, she re -roll. Re -roll. You can have my D8. Keep in mind, he still has to roll a 15 or higher. Yeah, yeah but like... Use the D8 after, like, I'm not going to the, uh, to the chicken island, first. so it's like, I don't need the extra rerolls. Thank you. At the end of the day. 
Nat 20. Holy shit. Oh my god. God damn it. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna fucking go. defeat him. Times four critical. That's it. That's it for him. He's got him, baby. <laughs> Hey, did, did, this did, time it's uh, only plus uh, 14, 14 damage. damage. So at least it's not plus 17. Ooh, that's good. That's uh, so average. That's 20, 20, 20, so that's 80. Cool. Is this a solo finisher or is this a team move? That's up to you. Solo finisher. You're Can kite. I? Yeah, yeah. I'll show right. finish him, Kite. That's, finish. that's me giving <laughs> you the John. reroll. <laughs> Can I, I like, do it, Kite? miss and then like stumble forward and as I'm like falling to the ground, I like uppercut his nuts. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you, you swing and miss and he like talks to you. He says, this ambition will be your end. And he goes to strike, strike <laughs> and you just says, <laughs> you. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. You hit him, the simulation the like, faint. Uh, yeah, the simulation like seizes up and then it is gone. The entire did arena. Did we just? Did we just? Did we just beat a simulation of an S-class hero? Yeah, a simulation, but yeah. you did it. Nice. Haha, <laughs> -ha. simulations fall for that too. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, give him the old dick twist. <laughs> Good shit. So he had four hundred and one hit points. Fuck. Shit. Ah. So you have the maximum score for the hit points, and then we're gonna see how many rounds did we survive with him. Six? No, you. They, no, they spent three rounds. Because we things. spent three, three in limbo. Four, seven, eight, 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 eight rounds. Like eight or nine. Yeah. Yeah. It, I think, was I think it was eight. two, three rounds, then three in the portal. We had four rounds before the portals. Four rounds before so the seven. portals. Three rounds in portals. And then one turn out of portal. Walker down. Yeah. Because yeah. I went eight out rounds. Like, the last round, the round, the round before this one. It's pretty quick. I yeah. feel good. I did like sixty points of damage. A yeah. 401. That's, you got hit feel once. Good. Yeah, I feel good about that. That's. <laughs> really, that was that and, and blocked a lot of You guys stuff. have That's almost 2,000 points, which, like, everyone else you see on the leaderboard have, like, a couple hundred. And you dropped one out of four of your party members. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, penalty, like, penalty. In, like, the last round. Yeah. yeah. You guys have 1,868 points, and everyone else on the leaderboard have a couple hundred, and you think that next highest is, like, 600. But also, none of them are like names you recognize from the players. Yeah, they're all just like Joe Schmoes and classies and hey, 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 civilians, hey. like other other people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice. Hot. Good job, gang. You guys spend a couple hours there that night, and then head home from Aichi Prefecture. Uh, not. Too long after. Can we see the people in the booth above? Or is it just kind of like that two-way glass where we know that they're there, but they aren't like? It's pretty high up, and you're at a pretty extreme angle. But you at least see there are human shapes moving around. It's not tinted okay. or anything. Um, but you wouldn't be able to recognize any faces. No, that's true. No, um, it's a bad angle. If they like press their face to the glass, you could recognize them, probably. If I was there, you'd recognize me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd press my face to the glass well, for you. <laughs> before they leave. Good luck reaching it. Um. <laughs> I can get. I can become like six foot. Before they just like leave after that little battle, she'll just do a little like. Mm -hmm. As one of their, their kiddos. Yeah, absolutely. Little, like, there you go. That's it. Fun stuff. All right. Was I supposed to do the interview after that, or was that the night before? Did I already do it? I'm trying to think. Um, you can do it any time this week. Okay, cool. But they just wanted you to do it after you did your first uh, official simulation. Yeah, she'll probably do it the next night, just because she's with. She just want to make everyone wait. You guys head home, yeah? Yeah. With yeah. Fujishima yeah. in tow on the on the uh, subway and the, or on the uh, train at least, the bullet train. Tram. How'd everyone feel? How do you guys like that? It was fun. That was incredible. I. I mean, I saw someone fighting All Might on the other side, and that was so last six semester. Seconds. Yeah. Which version? We got fucked up. Uh, <laughs> which version? I think that was Silver Age. All Might. Oh, so not the. Okay, yeah. <laughs> not Skin and Bones Man. Skin and Bones Man. Red and Bones Man. No, that was fun. I know. <laughs> skin and Bones Man. <laughs> like that's a decent way to like. Come up with some creative teamwork shenanigans without creating a human cannon. Without real world consequences. That's 
and being able to like work that stuff out against an actual hero instead of not like anything's wrong with our teammates. But yeah, you know. it would have it would have really sucked trialing that momentum cannon thing against like an actual enemy or a real villain. Yeah, where we can't spare the the health and wellness of ourselves in a fight. Yeah. Oh, the damage you took from the me momentum cannon was real. Yeah. Everything else was simulated. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. that yeah. that's you actually firing. That's the only thing they said, like, before you guys went in, they warned you, like, you can be thrown around, that's the only way you can get hurt. But the the rest of it's not real, you know? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> you threw yourselves. So we actually, like, fell through Ito's yeah. momentum cannon for... Yes. 12 seconds of terror. And then we're dealt, six, like, 60 points. 52, yeah. 52, yeah. Great. 56, 56. Yeah, I was going to say, because like, there was 50 just for the dice. Bonk. Mm -hmm. Kirishima's fine, you yeah. know? You, well, I was okay. You'll be okay. I was fine. Yeah. Nice. You guys get to head home. You guys are the highest scoring uh, group on the first day. Sweet. Is yeah. it by the end of the week that we get the... the no, it's cluster? just first day that they Hell want yeah. to. Hey, you win. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. If someone like Mirko had gone in, you know, yeah, then that would have been, been like different. a different story. But this place didn't attract those kinds of big names. Not yet. It might eventually. Um, They're totally gonna leverage you to try to, <laughs> try to. Pull yeah, that you in. doing that interview with uh, Miss Guiglione after you are the top scorer on opening day for the like big challenge. That's gonna look really good for you, the interview that she does. So, UA student tops the charts. Maybe it'll bring my fame up. UA freshman. Yeah. Um. Actually, yeah. I will say that's gonna. Um, everyone increase your fame by one automatically, the three of you. No. Mm. After your interview, it'll go up more. Cool. So you can do that anytime. Doing it while these assholes are out of town is a pretty That's good idea. Yeah. yeah. I only have the one. It... Well, you grow a second one when you uh, you get rid of the, the old one disappears. Yeah. You get a I new just, one. I extend my two. You have uh -huh. two, but never more than one uh -huh. at the same time. <laughs> I hate it here. Oh, no. no, no, it's the same one. They look the same. You just gotta pull the feathers. It's right apart. there it's behind the spinal column. <laughs> um, we also forgot that, <laughs> that Todoroki was with us. Oh, uh, yeah, Todoroki was with us. Great. Ooh. Uh, that would have made that fight it. a lot easier, wouldn't it have? I'll live with it. It's okay. He just, uh, he just hung outside. He we'll didn't want to go. We'll yeah. say that he, that, yeah, in the end, he was like, oh, you know, I've got matter. other stuff. And she's like, okay, well, let's get coffee tomorrow <laughs> then. I haven't talked I'm, in a while. I'm pretty he sure. probably still went. He just wouldn't fought something else. He yeah, did. maybe, yeah. Oh, that's right. The four of them went in because Todoroki split off. Yeah. And he was, he wasn't interested in the simulation, but he was like schmoozing or whatever. I'll take it. Right. No, I, don't, I, thought, I thought he was, he I was. I think he might have gone in with I you. Kind I kind of remember. I don't know, now he wouldn't have gone out for something I remember else him like with us throwing there. up an ice wall to start combat, and that was where we like left session. <laughs> we didn't do anything when combat started. He just got, uh, we, it was. We didn't. No. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't in. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. He, he, he went and did something else, guys. Leave yeah. him alone. Who cares about Endeavor's son? He you saw win. someone else fighting Endeavor, and he's like, I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> my dad wouldn't do that at all. <laughs> he's like, this no. is horrible. My dad's he's like more... lecturing the people. He's like, my dad would do this, this, and this, and this. Endeavor's way more efficient than He gets this. a pot of boiling water. He... <laughs> <laughs> That's his main attack. <laughs> I saw him hesitate. You forgot the part where he backhands the yeah. small child. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, There's God. no child abuse in this fight. It's not him. Oh, my God. My father is nothing if not a family man. Not a good one, but he's a family man. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we head back to UA. Now to go find real villains. Now to go find a real fight. How many rerolls do we have? One. <laughs> one. And but nine. hey, no one used their hero points though on a simulated well, battle. Well, I was I worried. Used one, but I got things. Oh, you did. Oh yeah. We yeah, make, we make got two decisions, yeah. right? Well, it was it was given for the uh -huh. yeah. technically two were given for the fight, but you know you can only spend so many on a simulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unless you're Odie and Enoch, <laughs> we'll spend everything. Oh my god! The second they go up against each other, and I'm like, guys, the forest is next week, please. <laughs> it was beautiful. Oh, that was, it was great. That's that's literally what they were screaming at each other. Is that right? Yeah. So they're siblings, they got paired against each other, and heroes versus villains, they spent like three hero points every time. I'd like to remind everyone, there's a feat you can take that gives you a bit, uh, five hero points, up yeah, to five. Up it to five. If you're crazy. Um, yeah. Ito, 
after you complete your interview, I want you to level up. Cool. And she'll do that um, just the next night. Yeah. So. And I mean, if you want to be doing that now on stream or whatever, that's fine because you know you're not going to be doing okay. a whole lot until the interview starts. That's so. fine. Guys, yeah. Wednesday morning. Yeah. Nothing else. Tuesday night. No. Don't think so. Kind of rubber stuff. I'm going to bed after that. Yeah. Your ribs hurt. Perception. Ooh, 25. Someone follows you when you get off of the train. You have to stop looking for your uncle. Oh, you're going to get yeah. him in trouble. Yeah. yeah that's From now on, when you're getting on subways, it's always like, roll for a second. You're just going to be like, no. But no. that's how the skin and bone man sneaks up on me. <laughs> that's All Might. That's All Might. Yeah, you know <laughs> now you're safe. safe. <laughs> He's safe. So what's he going to do? Punch you? Yes. <laughs> he's going to get caught with blood on you is what he's going to do. Well, yeah. He's going to do bleed on me. Well, after Walker, Walker smiles in British. Yeah, you've seen him fold car doors backwards around Walker, so maybe that's what he's going to use the last of his power for to whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Act better. <laughs> You're just in the ground like, oh, all right, students, my final lesson. <laughs> you think, right. You think, I think. You guys uh, head back to the school and... Sleep. Wednesday morning, we go back to class. Woot woot. We have a science test this week, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we get going. It's just a normal class day. Um, everyone roll d12s for me. For the encounter. 11. 12. 3, my lord. 10. But actually, 2. <laughs> 3, my lord. 3. Two. Eleven. Eleven. Two. Th uh, ten. Twelve. Twelve. What did I say eleven? I am just under the radar today. Ian, I don't usually reveal it, but yours is 69 right now. Nice! Yeah. I'm at 69 hit points since I leveled up. I'm like sad because I'm, I'm not going to You rolled a 12? Anymore. Yeah. Wow. I said 12 or 11. I said 12 and I was like, yeah. I, I, I think it was 12. This is fun. I like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 69. Nice. Um, I love it here. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just updating some notes and things. Uh, this music is very, like, odd. Skin and bone. Yeah. Odd? Yeah. Okay. Oh, even numbers would get an extra feet. I feel like Zhao would like it. Right? Oh, yeah. Hmm? Or evens feet or. Uh, evens are. Uh, evens are. Uh, okay. Yeah. I can yeah. never remember. I can never keep it straight. Mm. I don't know why. Odds are feet. I'm because a fighter, people like feet are odds. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to call anyone out. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> He hasn't been on stream in years, okay? I'm not going to call him out. Uh, we... I've trained a wheelish to attack Kim's feet when we, when we fight. <laughs> She's an odd dog. Okay? She'll no. nibble on her feet. It's like, God, take her down. And then the wheelish is like, I'm going to me that. out. Love that. It's Man's best game. friend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wednesday, nothing too crazy is happening. Uh, we have a good day of class. People stop for lunch. Anyone like, if anyone wants to talk to anyone or go to the support studio... Other than that, you know, it's just the I'm usual cool her just ride. mixing and mingling. Class 1A, couple 1B. Maybe you'll see some upper classmen, you know? Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, yeah. You sent an email to mm -hmm. Vlad King's support, support people. I wanted to meet with them at some point. Okay, they have they've replied, okay. and they're offering you schematics. They're going to send them through UA Secure Server, so you want to go get those from Power Loader by the end of the day. I can just do that on my lunch. I can just do that on lunch. Cool. Yeah. You head to the support studio then. And yeah, I'll just go by the support studio on lunch. I know what I was going to say, because they're sending me the schematics, and then May's, I'll give them to May to like do whatever she wants with, right? Oh, God. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You could do that. Scary. You could give them a power loader, but what fun is that, right? Why would you do that when you have a true expert in that little pink psychopath? Yeah. Uh, a connoisseur. An enthusiast. Because I, I, like, I feel like if I want like my blood thunder spear... Like my yeah. the like, blunder beer. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get. I feel like I feel like Hatsume is gonna be more likely to give that to me than Power Loader. My God. 
Well, it's it's the aerosol it's aerosol blood plus an explosive projectile. I mean, it's the logical. Next it's step. the logical progression. You know, yeah. if you want to add an explosive weapon to your hero costume, you have to go through even more training with. Um, That's fine. With uh, fuck, what's his name? Snipe. Wait until you hear about my blood backpack idea. Okay. It's a jetpack, but my blood. You know, you're I not hate wrong. That. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen a? Turn into a crop Have duster. you seen the Rammstein live shows where he's got the backpack that shoots yeah. stuff in every direction? Yeah. I didn't know. It's just blood. like blood. <laughs> blood fountains. Okay, Walker, you go get that commissioned. Uh, great. You're going to have to spend uh, some time training with Snipe, so I'm going to require at least 12 hours of training with I've, Snipe. I mean, I've got like some actual like ideas and stuff besides you that you can like, because I, I took some input from some oh, of the fellas some, on the Discord. There were, there were some really good <laughs> suggestions on the Discord. So I'll, say, I'll send you my whatever ideas for the V2, and you can... Great. Edit and nerf as you need to. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll handle mechanics once you've done all your training and stuff and everything. Cause like, cause I like I, there's like, exo like an exoskeleton for like the armor class and shit. And other yeah. Some other stuff. I could... Yeah. You could trade speed for armor. You could mm -hmm. add an explosive weapon, mm -hmm. but probably ditch the swords. You could do whatever you want. That's fine. It'll be lovely, I'm sure, and horrific. It'll violate every tenet of the Geneva suggestion. Uh, they can't. They can't. They can't be conventions if they ain't come up with them yet. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Someone went skydiving with a bear in Alaska. Remember that. Um, <laughs> that's a law. You get an email <gasps> from the junior junior Olympians. Yeah. Is there like a meet coming up? There is. Yeah. There's a meet coming up at the end of the month. You are encouraged to come to come in costume. There will be like a day. Oh wow, a blue speedo instead of my normal blue speedo. <laughs> now they might ask you to like go a little further than that. Uh, did we discuss what your um, designation was in their in their little club? Because all the members of that of like the main Olympian council. Oh, we have not discussed that on stream, but we joked no. about it off stream the one time. Do you want to figure that? Because now's the time. They're going to ask you. I'm super happy with the mm -hmm. the Di Dionysus. Oh, oh, oh. Dionysus um, man. Diogenes. Diogenes man. Yeah. Yeah. Great. This. <laughs> Behold. A man. A man. <laughs> I hate it. Okay, cool. Then uh, they'll want you to find some way to, to dress up for that and... Uh, you, we don't really have to. I respond, I'm not going to pluck out all my feathers for you. Maybe just sit in a pot. You know, bring a little pot to sit bring in. Bring a little pot to sit in. Someone will carry I could do that. Hot pot. <laughs> yeah. Dajani sat in a, in a big uh, in a big cauldron, basically. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Lived in a pot. Yeah. It was pot, a by the barrel. Pot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sit, sit in a barrel. That'll be a good costume. And then you transform... Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So they want me as a different designation other than just my hero name. Yes. In the house yeah. of a rich man, the best place to spit is his face, rip my, my boy Diogenes. <laughs> yeah. They have that they have that whole Greek like uh aesthetic yeah. that they've got going on. So everyone's gonna be in costume for the dinner, but before the dinner happens, you're gonna spend the day um doing like all of your athletics. Doing shit. like Highland game yeah. style. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be competing a little bit, you're gonna take some photos and stuff, it's gonna be good. Nice. And your fame will go up, and nice. uh, you will be inducted in more officially in the organization. You'll be able to do all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah. I finally have two attacks. Everyone, don't forget. Hey! You are members Join of. The big oh, group. nice! You are members of organizations. You can spend skill uh, prestige points to gain permanent abilities and skill bonuses because of those organizations. Yeah, I'm flat out of prestige, Chief. <laughs> oh, yikes. I took my. Current initiative. Well, your fame just went up, so you gain one prestige from that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Every time your fame goes up. <laughs> Got one prestige now. Nice. Uh, and just a reminder, what is everyone's fame right now? 19. 19. 21. 24. 19. 19. 24. 24. 24. I was going to go up to the with the thing, but. This guy. I'm sure he'll tell me. He's 19 as well with the fame. Nice. Okay. That checks. Wednesday afternoon, as soon as you guys get out of class, the three of you have to group up with Aizawa 
And um, we're getting the fuck out of here. Oh my god, are you guys super oh excited? I'm god. super excited. What just happened? Perfect timing. All right. Jade and Dark, Walker's Guardian. Another 20 bucks, whatever you oh. want. You can get some prestige out of that. How much prestige is that worth? Uh, like four prestige? You get three prestige for every five bucks. Wait, so no. you could get 12 prestige. I will take 12 prestige. Did Jaden Dark adopt Walker, actually? Yeah. Like, change his name and everything? Yeah. yeah. Like, legal documents yeah. are in. There are three of you guys. There's, three, there's one for each of you three idiots. Why doesn't Adrian have one? <laughs> Adrian actually does fine, for the most part. Doesn't roll like an... Doesn't roll just complete garbage. And I like how I don't have... I, I've got Holy Knight of Ian. I don't have Holy Knight of Zhao because he pops into everything. <laughs> oh, does he help you as DM when you're running Mad King? Uh, PJ Boy usually helps me as DM. Yeah, because PJ Boy's a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> Lovingly. Love Lovingly. Favorite. I love it. Thanks. It's what I did. Uh, the inspiration for the the tip system mm -hmm. I got from a different D&D. &D. Mm -hmm stream that I used to watch years ago and I was the one who donated to the DM <laughs> and it was nasty I'm sure it was God. all right the three of you leave with Mr. Aizawa um, we're getting out of this country just back home let's go Tokyo. boys no oh. Tokyo's let's, in this country <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know that. That being said, we are heading to Tokyo. We're going to fly up to um, Hokkaido, and then we're going to jump on a short plane over to uh, Chicken Island. Great. You guys do not have your hero costumes. You are not authorized for that kind of thing here. So this is all casual civilian dress, no UA uniforms. Um, and he's going to ask you guys bring clothes you can be stealthy in if necessary. The Napoleon hat. A blue speedo that's a, not Kevlar. Yeah, a blue speedo and a black. <laughs> um, I've got my tuxedo speedo. Nice. That's black mostly. No. The tux speedo, if you will. The tux speedo. The, the tux speedo. I love it. Uh, yeah, but you guys are no stranger to stealth. I'm actually incredibly stealthy when I fly. I'm the same color as the sky. Oh shit. Oh, I see. It's a okay little purple. Well, you've got little purple. <laughs> well, it's on top of your head, so yeah, it's like little purple's fine. Cool. Certainly not fucking Sandor with a minus six to stealth. <laughs> Actually, okay. Little Zhao's got a, a plus 19 to stealth. He has a plus wow. four racial because he's tiny, yeah. right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Because he's small. Yeah, I didn't take the tiny stats. I just took no. the small stats. I took the tiny stats yep. for damage. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing 1d3, I just do one point of damage on my attacks. But, you know, your beak? Yeah, <laughs> That's just so a little cute. peck. That's, yeah, it's a chicken right there. Yeah. Motherfuckers hurt. Okay. Um, you guys get on a plane and we're heading out. I need one of you to roll a d12 for me. Four. It's I it's your roll. show, so. <laughs> I could have rolled Thanks. so much. It time. is your show. We're on your Walker. mission. See, double. <laughs> That's like four more twos. Yeah. God, it's been a while since we made one of those jokes. That was, that was a stupid one. Wow, that's like a couple twos. Yeah, I've probably got a camo speedo, but it's like it's in like the jungle print mm -hmm. cheap camo, so it like doesn't it clashes with. You don't have the tiger king around. official merch speedo. <laughs> I don't know if that's Perish. A thing. <laughs> Perish. <laughs> it takes a while. It takes a while to get there. We're all just kind of in the plane, chilling. We're not discussing any of our plans or details until we get on the second plane, which is a more private thing. Um, but yeah, you guys just go. There's been a second plane! <laughs> we are the second plane. As we're heading in there, <laughs> Mr. Aizawa kind of looks at the two of you. All right. Zhao. Gian. What? What do we need to know about this town? I've never been. Oh, everybody's like super wonderful and friendly, except for all the people that keep to themselves and don't tell you anything and go like, oh, hey, scram kid, I'm doing something. Um, that about sums it up. There's a, there's a bull guy <laughs> that sells really good beef balls. 
All right. Um, you said there are a lot of people who are kind of keep to themselves. It might be a little... I'd say like 80% of the island. 80 All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's the, the cat people. There's the dog people. There's the bull that sells the really good beef balls. There's that chameleon guy that turns invisible. There's the lady that like freezes people when she touches them. Oh my god, there's my, there's my uncle and his buddy seven and his buddy seven. They both tell me to piss off all the time. Your uncle, in an endearing way. If we have time, I might ask to meet him just so I can be more familiar with a parent of two of my students. Oh, that'd be great. You'd love him. I'm sure I would, Joe. Do you smoke cigars? No. Do you drink whiskey? He doesn't answer. Uh, he just <laughs> he might hate you. <laughs> Walker, do you gamble? Do you, gamble? you know the plan. I'm going to fill them in on as much as they need to know. We're not here to pick a fight. We're looking for the Acadian. We were almost here to pick a fight? No. I know you've been here in the <laughs> past to say. pick a fight, and I know you were rather successful. Yeah, I told you it was part of the mission. And I know that you have experience fighting the Acadian. I know there will probably be some bad blood there, especially considering it seems like you may have maimed him on live television. That guy. Which yeah, one? We, which we, one? Remember, we went over this in the hill. It was, it was between that guy. Wait, which guy? The other guy you maimed, and then the other guy you maimed. Not in front of Dad. Well, <laughs> was it the one you set on fire? No. Was it the one you broke the hand that was like a lizard? No, it no, was the that's one you like. On fire. Oh, with the eyes! Yeah, it was with the eyes. Oh. Yes. We're here to ask him some questions. That is all. If he's not compliant, or if he threatens any of you, I will intervene. You may intervene at your discretion, but I'm going to make the first move. And I want all of you to keep a clear level head going into this. OK, do you just want to like put me in your pocket for that or something? Will you fit in my pocket? I fit in so many things. You wouldn't believe how small he I am. He grabs you. He does. <laughs> and he just he puts you in his scarf where Principal Nezu goes, because oh it's God, like completely it's so, invisible. This is so warm. Do we know where he is? <laughs> No. No, you don't. I'm hiding. That's why I need both of you. You're gonna. <laughs> you're going. <laughs> Default inspiration, dumb joke. <laughs> That's why I have both of you. You're going to be my guides, but you're also going to help me find this individual. So remind me again. Why do you attack me? You're asking the DM. No, I'm asking. Aizawa. <laughs> He never really told you. He did, actually. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't see it on the live leak. As far as I'm aware, it's because of your connection with the Yakuza. But if he still has any loyalty to Garan and his affiliates, that could still be a problem. I don't imagine he'd have much loyalty, considering he jumped ship and left the country. I think I know where he is. Do you think he's still hanging out with the Yakuza people? Yeah, probably Rapa. Dude, should we call Rapa? Wait, Rapa's here? Yeah, yeah. He's we ran out. into him last time. Private Eye shot him in the knee. Remember the eight bullets Rapa is on Chicken Island? Yeah, he said he met my hey, uncle once. Is that is that bad? Yeah. Or something. Or someone that looked like my uncle. He was one of the elite warriors of the... Of the Yakuza clan that the police busted this summer. Oh. I don't think he knows I sold him out. Don't tell him. Oh, that's right, because you're in the mob. I, I, okay. I, that's, Kite, right. that secret's out of the bag at this point. Is Ah, uh, he knows. Is it okay to discuss it? Kite, you, un you uncovered the mafia and sold him out? Wait, did you not know that? <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. Were you on like a secret mission for your internship? Yeah. Man, Miss Joke just ran me up and down the mountain a whole bunch of times. That's awesome, though. Is that how you got the mountain magic? Oh! oh. <gasps> Miss Joke's a miracle worker. You guys eventually get to the <laughs> island. It's yes, late. They are like this all the time, in case you were wondering. Well, he knows. <laughs> it's late at night. Um, we're going to need a place to lie low for the night. I mean, we can go, you know, Wanna get a hotel or something, Rapa? but. I, I'm having a hard time remembering. Rapa wanted to meet me in the ring sometime because he was interested. I can't remember if he left me a way to contact him. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. No, but you know where he's squatting. Yeah, that's true. Squatting in his old house. Yeah. So we just all like walk in and say hi? 
Can you explore that? Probably not. Oh. Uh, yeah, that hotel would be better. All right. Yeah, you guys get a cheap motel and you're gonna hang out for the night. And then in the morning, we're gonna get busy, busy, busy. My God, guys, you gotta try this. This bed is so bouncy. You told you doing anything Wednesday night or? Um, just the interview. Okay, shit. We're doing the interview. Let's go. You're gonna meet up in. Um, you're gonna have to get permission from probably midnight or just go straight to Nezu because Izawa was gone. Um, I think Miss Midnight would be more likely to say yes. Not that I think Nezu would say no, but. Okay, yeah, so you're just going into town. You're not leaving the town. Yeah. You know. Okay, you uh, head into Musatapu, and uh, you're going to go meet her. Uh, she'd probably ask to meet you and, like, get, like, dinner. Um, so she'll buy you dinner, and then you guys can discuss things. Sounds good. Cool. Wonderful. All right, you get to the place, um, and she's actually not there yet, so you have to wait for her just like a short Rude. while. I know, right? Unprofessional. Um, a fucking limousine pulls up, and she gets out of it, and there's a man with her, like, much taller than her. You've seen her, you've seen him once before, you think it's her husband. Mm. Uh, and she, you know, she, like, says a couple things to him, like, quietly, and then she gives him a kiss, and, she, and he's gone. Um, okay. She rushes up to you. I am so sorry that I'm late. Something came up. It's all in, it's all a huge bother, and it's very unprofessional of myself. No I, you worries. Know, I, I agree. Mean, I, <laughs> yeah, you're True. right. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's all good. She's quickly gone. It's not, you do better next time. It's not like I've got much going on as a student, you know, like after classes and homework. It's just kind of being a UA student. I'm sure you have more going on than you'd let on, but oh, don't we all? We'll talk about it, I'm sure. Dinner? Starving. All right, my treat. And she takes you in, and you guys are going to? Lobster. Then, yeah, sure. Looks for the most Filet expensive thing lobster. on the menu. Well, you're in, a, you're in a, a port town, or like on a bay as well, so it's not like Ooh. that bad here, but yeah, it'll be expensive. <laughs> 1,000 orders of culinary. Jesus Christ. It's the only thing I eat. <laughs> it's part of my quirk. She's like writing that down, I'm like, what the fuck is Portals it? are actually powered by squid. <laughs> You ascend dimensions. <laughs> I eat cephalopods. <laughs> if they send us like, they send us, like <laughs> yeah, it heightens my state if of they mind. They send us like uh, if we seriously get calamari and we get like the little whole baby squids. I'm like totally at some point gonna like make one dance. I hate you. You can make like a little paper top hat and see if I can like get a row of like. That's cruel. Little dancing dead squid things. Eating them's one thing. That's animal cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> They're already dead. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I did that in my high school biology class with my uh, frog dissection. I made him do the can can. The vaudeville. Hello, I, my baby. It's you're exactly. Yep. You're all sadistic. When we did the, the I was baby paired with pigs. the vegan. So. When we did the baby pigs, um, my partner braided the intestines. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, pigs, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Classic. He's like, look, and he was like swinging. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we get, such if we a get weird calamari, I'm just going to like, like, like a little vaudeville dancing squid. Oh, that is, sorry. That is obscene. <laughs> that is, that's vulgar. I wow. Aizawa will remember that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, must get Butterfly psych evaluation. Updated. Yeah. I told you, like, very new and disturbing things happening with the, yeah. She asked you plenty of questions about the simulator. Uh, she asked you about your friends and why you brought them along, you know, mm -hmm. if you guys, like, have any uh, any experience that you were, like, willing to talk about together in terms of, like, fighting. She's like, what was the deal with that fucking clown? <laughs> She's crazy. Yeah, and she'll, she'll be Everyone pretty... Everyone knows the deal with the clown. She'll be pretty open and honest about so. things as long as it doesn't... She just feel it, feels it doesn't put any of, like, her friends or anyone in danger kind of idea. So you're sussing, you're sussing for this whole time, though. A little bit, but not in a, like, I think this is bad, but just so much as, like, it's very easy for people to accidentally give away very vital information. Yeah. Roll something. Roll something? Roll well, something. Well, like, you can't talk about Eye Island, too. Yeah. Um, oh. I'll do sense motive. Sure. You're, or, or perception. You're dancing around her motivations, and she's dancing around your motivations now, and now we're all just suspicious. Never trust reporters. There. No. Um, no, to be fair, she's been very good, very nice to you. Yeah. As long Plead as the fifth. Her. Demand your lawyer. She, like, or wait. She, yeah, that's, she, that's also, she grew up with a, with a cop mom, so she was like instilled with not only that hatred of cops, but also the like 
natural inhibitions towards the press. Yeah, kind of absolutely. That. So, um, that was a 24. Careful what you say if there's not a lawyer present. Absolutely. Yeah. Tell, tell the cops nothing and the paramedics or a teacher, everything. But, you know, even teachers are dubious. Okay, yeah. And terror reporters, but. How do you feel about firefighters? <laughs> um, yeah. You... I've yet to see a firefighter start a fire, so we're. True. We're not French. Or shoot a dog or a minority. God damn it. <laughs> While on duty. Flashbang an infinite in cradle. God. Oh no. Lacrimosa. <laughs> you answer lots of questions. Um, total for sense motive? What was uh, 24. It? Good. She's kind of leading you. Um, That's true. But you feel like wherever she's leading you, she doesn't get there before she's done with the interview questions for the night. You know? Yeah. You, you feel like there's some kind of like. There's some kind of like structured. She's, she's got one more intent here, but she doesn't ask like the last question. She's loaded the cylinders. Yeah. Did we have dessert? Did you want dessert? It's on her. I if it doesn't five. seem like she's done ans <laughs> asking all of her questions, she will mention dessert. Oh, absolutely. You extend the dinner as long as possible. Ooh. Yeah, you guys uh, get some some wonderful dessert. You get some like bean cakes and some uh, creme brulee and things like that. Absolutely. While you guys are officially done with the interview, you just get to like talk and kind of bow about a little bit. Mm -hmm. and she asks you like, How have things been at UA this semester? Obviously, you don't need to get into anything that might be confidential. Confidential. I don't know necessarily what would be at that school, but they're training heroes. How have things been for you? I know your last semester was very exciting. It's wonderful for you. Yeah. I know. We are at a school training the next generation of heroes. If there was anything less than dangerous and life-threatening, it would not be worth our time. Well, I believe there is a very well-known waiver when students enter the entrance exam at UA that they could die during the examination. Yeah, I didn't, a lot of us I don't think realize how far that would extend past that, but I don't think any of us are kidding ourselves if we didn't realize that that's just part of what we've signed up for the rest of our lives. It's a noble thing, being a hero, using your powers to help people is it? protect the common good. I think it is. What could be more noble than putting your life on the line for what you believe in, for other people? protecting them. I don't know if I would say safe. noble. I think I'd say it's a requirement. If you're if you are one of those people born with a certain power that can stop certain evil, who are you to not utilize that? What does that say about you? I don't I don't feel like that's making me utilizing my power to fight people who are utilizing their power in a cruel, horrible way, I feel like that's a necessity. That's a, I'm required to do so. And of course, I'm more than happy to do it. However, I wouldn't say it's noble. You think it's a moral necessity? No, I think moral is subjective. I think it's far too subjective to bring into this concept. So what makes you feel it's an obligation? We're getting very Republic of Rome here, if you haven't noticed. And that I would tell you the job of the Caesar is a public service and an act of moral good. And you are telling me, no, it's my obligation, and I perform it grimly. Well, all roads lead to Rome, right? Maybe not in Japan. Well, I would say. <laughs> Have you followed them all the way? <laughs> the water roads. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful city. <laughs> Have you uh, tried? Skill issue. I wasn't I born say, there, but I spent a good deal of my life there. I would say when it comes down to it, it's not a moral 
aspect, but so much as an obligation. Because there has to be balance in everything. If we weren't, if we allowed those people who choose to use this for the horrible things that they can, then we don't have the ability to use this or the freedom to use it as we please. If that makes sense. Tolerance of the intolerance. I see. So you believe our society's choice to allow people the freedom to use their quirks as they please necessitates then that others should step up and make hard choices for our collective good? Isn't that how everything works? It is, or it should be. So long as we always have the freedom of choice, someone has to not have the freedom of choice, whether it's literal or subjective. Well, that's just social contract. Precisely. So I wouldn't say it is a noble thing for me and my peers to choose to be heroes. You have a very interesting perspective, Ito. I don't think you're wrong. I just don't think it's the first angle that I would look at it from. I shouldn't be myself as a noble person. And what do you think about our society and the way it handles those individuals who you described have the freedom to make dangerous or harmful choices? Say, wait, say, the, say the first part one more time. Yes. What, what do you think about our society and the freedom that people have oh, oh, okay. to make yeah. those harmful and dangerous choices you were talking about? Yeah. I think to regulate any of that becomes a very dangerous perspective. You know, um, ultimate power leads to ultimate corruption, or absolute power. Um, Corrupts absolutely. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely. And we're back to Caesar. Exactly. So, you know, on one, we, we all need to have that freedom to make those choices. But at the same time, does anybody have that true freedom? How, what, what percentage of villains are actually doing it just for the hell of it versus, I don't know, man, I just need money to put. How many food revel on the in table. the violence and how many do it out of a desperate need for their own. Precisely. Safety, security, and happiness. Well, that's just the question, isn't it? I hope more people your age ask questions like that. And I'm glad that we agree. Regulating the use of quirks for an entire society, regulating our biological imperatives, it's dangerous. I think absolute power does corrupt, absolutely. It's something we can't draw a line on. There's no end. We can't control to a point. So do you think the current laws regarding quirks are too overbearing? Do you think they need to be pulled back a bit, or? It feels like she's finally getting to the point. Yeah. I think many of our laws, not just regarding quirks, are adequate for a world we used to live in. I think that world is changing, and it's changing very quickly. And therefore, we need to take a look at some of our legislature and adjust accordingly. Couldn't agree more. It's refreshing speaking to someone, I don't mean to sound patronizing in any way, but someone so young who has such a clear perspective on these things. I think there are a lot of very complicated issues in the world that no one person can solve. <laughs> We're back to Caesar. Mm. But I think this just might be one of them where the answer might actually be clear. How's the dessert? 
delicious. Try it yourself. And we cut away. Yeah. Chicken Island. Yeah. Thursday morning. Missing school for this. We have to find this guy. I have to find out what he knows. Where are we going? What do we go to first? <laughs> Kite's house. Kite's house. Right. I mean, that's where he was. That's where they were sleeping. Yeah, that makes sense. Should we like bring a gift? What do you, what do you think they like? Like a pair of boxing gloves? No, I don't think we should encourage that. Oh, okay. Um, feel like a house plant? Yeah. Hey, house if plant. We're, if we're like trying to use the kitty to find Shigaraki, so uh, then maybe maybe I missed this. Is Azawa going to come look, come talk to the guy with us, or is he just going to hang? Come talk to him with you. Okay. Or he might just send you, but be nearby. That's because I was going to say, I feel like if he's there, they're not going to be very cooperative. Just because True. Aizawa's there. Versus, You'll have to hide me, too. If versus if it's me, <laughs> Mr. Morally Ambiguous, being like, hey, I'm looking for Shigaraki. So you're gonna go in alone, but with that everyone would, nearby. That would prob I feel like that would probably be our most effective approach. Because I don't feel like he's gonna give up the location very easy if a razor heads. Right. Right. Like that's kind of yeah. counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. Who's yeah. whose pocket do I need to hide in then? His. You want you, me in your you've pocket? You've done this before. Buddy cop! <laughs> is our buddy cops at it again? Hey, is I, is I, kind of an honorary buddy cop? You've helped him, and now you've he's helping do you. I and now technically, I... need a concealed weapons permit for whatever. No, for, I can say for these Ooh. hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's going to be our best option, right? Like, because he's mm -hmm. going to be hostile towards Aizawa. Like, that's yeah. The yeah. Whole, the whole bit is like, I want to talk to Shigaraki because I'm being weird, and maybe like maybe want to join but talk to yeah. I'm having a, a crisis of yeah. identity. Yeah, yeah. We're th now we're thinking. Without portals. Well, we don't yeah. have portals. Are back in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> They're Portal in. Cover. So, so we're ju we're gonna have you know you and Aizawa hanging out on the side of the property mm -hmm. by like the wall or whatever, and you just walk through the front door and you can see what's up. Me in pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We we're not even stealthing. We just go to your old house. Well, I guess the other two you should stealth in. Stealth for you and Izawa. Please, please, someone give me a reroll. I am the knight. Are there any? I have one. Thank you. He rolled. He rolled a one. <laughs> go, Dad. Natural eighteen. Okay. I am the knight. You are the knight. Nat twenty. Nat yeah. twenty. <laughs> you rolled a twenty. He rolled a one. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> you guys are very stealthy, and then these two go in. Um, you're small enough, I'm not going to make you roll stealth, so. Cool. Pocket chicken. Pocket chicken. You're just like really squished, but that's fine. Pocket nugget. Okay. The Walker always wears baggy clothes. Yeah. yeah. He's got big pockets. Have you seen dude pockets? Wearing, like, They're pants. huge. <laughs> you say that like I'm wearing women's pants right now. <laughs> that's only like 30% of the time, okay? Uh, <laughs> they do fit the ass better. Yes. You... Walk right up to this kind of, it's like really beautiful, but kind of hauntingly like empty beach house. Kind of Luigi's Mansion-ish. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's only like, it's only a single story, but it's very wide. It has um, like short, like actual like walls around it. And it has a walled garden, but you see it's all just a little decrepit. Like it hasn't been lived in maybe for a couple of years. But as you get closer, roll perception. That is a net 20. Ooh. Oh, shit. Ooh. As you get closer, you notice a couple things. It seems like someone's been keeping up with the path. Okay. There is like a little stone path that leads to a wrought iron gate and then kind of trails down towards the beach. It seems like someone's been like pulling weeds and like cleaning the rocks and stuff. It's like, okay. Someone's living here. Someone's, at, and not just squatting here, but like caring for it a little bit. But all the vines on the on the walls and the... They're caring for it, but they don't want to be, they're, they're laying low. Yeah. yeah. It might even be like obsessive compulsive, you think. Um, 
you get up to the raw iron gate. It is not locked. It's just closed. And as you open it and are very careful that it barely squeaks, you hear... <laughs> intermittently, just these huge thudding sounds from nearby. Uh... Hello? Yeah? You just do that? I mean, I'm not gonna like try and fucking Hello. sneak around. Like, <laughs> no, this sketchy not. British kid in a punk in a punk metal. Yeah, uh, it's gonna look a lot it's gonna look a lot weirder if he finds sees me and thinks I'm trying to break. Walks his. in. You just hear, huh? And from around the corner, a guy kind of like peeks around in um uh, what looks like uh like a plague doctor's mask. That's kind of familiar. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the V1. There's a tangled, tangled mane of long, very kind of rusty red hair, huge frame, big shoulders, big arms, and his knuckles are literally just blood right now. It looks like he's been punching some kind of like solid surface, repeatedly. You just kind of peek around. Who the fuck are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, hi. Hi. My name's uh my name's Ben. Jesus Murphy. Um Ben Jesus Murphy. You never told me your I'm real name was Jesus. I'm looking for somebody named Rapa. Yeah, you found the guy. Weird name white boy. What do you want? Um I was told you'd be the best person to potentially help me find somebody. He kind of loosens up a little bit. Roll diplomacy. He's easy. He's very easy. I'm being, I'm like, I'm being nice to him, too. Like, yeah. I'm not being... <laughs> You're just sketched, he's sketched out by you. We are all spent. He's like, he's like is this kid British? What's his deal? Uh, 20... <laughs> that was him popping his neck. I just did it because I'm that good. Uh, <laughs> method 20, acting. 20, 28. Snaps neck for method acting. 28. 28. Much better than the first natural free. Uh, yeah. Uh, who are you looking to find? Um, uh, maybe, maybe not, not out and listening. I don't know, you know, we talk somewhere quiet. This is quiet, there's no one here. We're okay. Um, guy named Tomarok? Never heard of him. How the hell did you find me? Uh, I got your name from some guys on... Um, in Tokyo, I've just been I've been looking looking for this guy for a uh, while and following one lead after another. Yeah, I probably should have put that guy in the fucking ground. All right, well, I'm not like a fed or anything. If that's what that's you're perfect. like, you know, I paid those assholes to keep their mouth shut, and now they send some random high schooler out here to look for me. I well, it's kind of like. Um, Listen, I know you're not a Fed. The Chinese wouldn't send you. Well, yeah, no, what are the Japanese pretty... gonna do? Yeah, they can't drag me home. Uh, I guess I'm looking to maybe potentially interview with the head of the League of Villains. Is what oh, I'm getting at. Oh, League of Villains. Yeah, not my thing, buddy. Uh, don't know those guys. I fought one of them. Good fight. Big guy. A lot bigger than you. But, uh, nah. Not my thing. And, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but the uh, whole Tokyo scene, I'm out. Yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a mess. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, about hitting mainland. Apparently fighting's good out there. And, uh, you know, seem very, big market. Seem very suited for the subject. Um, yeah, you a fighter? No, in that category, I don't think. Damn. By chance, do you know if you could steer me to somebody who could help me? I got some other names. Maybe you know where one of them could be at. A guy, lower class villain, Acadian. Mm. Heard his name two or three times. He's just like, they really told you everything, huh? I've been looking pretty hard. Okay. I've been hardly looking. <laughs> Here, here's the deal. 
I'm willing to tell you where the Acadian can be found. That would be absolutely wonderful. But there's a catch. Naturally. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm running short of uh, betting money, and there's a big fight coming up this weekend. I'm not going to bet on myself, you know, that's stupid, right. but, you know, there's some other guys that uh, I might make a buck on, and, uh, I mean, what do you got, kid? As far as cash? Yeah. Uh, Yen, dollars, rubles, I think they'll take it. Bitcoin? <laughs> well. What, what do they use, euros? Yeah, euros. Ugh. I've got a cut. I've actually probably got a decent amount now that I'm working for the Fed. Yeah, actually. Probably, yeah. Can you say that out loud? You give him some yen. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't, if he doesn't Here's like my it, Fed coin. If he doesn't like it, I've got a fun offer, but I don't know how much I want to commit. Uh, yeah, I've got some. I've got some cash. Yeah, how much? However, uh, however much. Uh, I've so got. like, I don't know. We got never, like eighty bucks. We never, re we never rectify or deal with money it's, hardly. Yeah, in this I know. Uh, like, like, give me like a ballpark. You think of like American dollar equivalent, and I'll tell you. He'd probably have like fifty to hundred bucks on him. At oh, this point. that's not bad. Cons and considering, considering, you know what? I would also wager that he kind of learned his lesson last time with the whole I showed up here and didn't have any money and got absolutely nowhere without having yeah. to sell my soul. So he'd probably bring like he might actually think to bring like a couple hundred bucks if he could, if it was feasible. So you have at least like fifteen thousand yen. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I'll do. If he, if he didn't, that's... if he didn't like it, I was gonna offer to just take a fight and let him bet on me. You want to anyway? You know someone who's a lot better at that than you. Yeah, but I don't know if I wanna. I don't know if I wanna give that bit up. Reveal. Do <laughs> you want to just do that? You can. No, if he bites he, he looks a little disappointed, but he looks like he'll take it. Or I mean. If you if you want to be a little more fun than me just buying information off of you, you could. Yeah, you want to fight? You could take this, put what you have in it, bet on me. We split the winnings 50-50, and you tell me where the Acadian's at. 60, oh, sixty forty. Oh, you're looking for the Acadian? Yeah. Oh, he's just down at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Which beach? It's well, surrounded. Uh, 360. I kind of got excited about making some making some money if you still want to like... I mean, kid, if you want to stick around and make some money, you go talk to the dog guy and they'll put you in the thing for it, but uh... Yeah, the... Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't bet on nobodies, so... Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, they, got a, they got a ringer around here and uh, I'm hoping to fight him, but I want to get the pool pretty... Uh, Who's the ringer? I, I want to I get the pool up and I want to kind of, you know... I want to stroke his ego okay. a bit before I go put his lights out. So <laughs> I have got all the information I need. I am completely fine with this. I I want to know the Yeah, no, that's that sounds like a that sounds like a plan. Thanks thanks a bunch. This was like really really fucking helpful. Like Yeah. Like god, it has just been impossible to get shit done up until now. So I I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, you want to you want to sign up for that? I mean, you're you're decent. You you look you look decent. I can take a couple minutes. Yeah. You want to sign up? You come back here when you're done talking to that uh, weirdo. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we can talk. We can talk about getting you signed up. I mean, shit. Villain fight club. You, you got to sign up for a villain fight club. <laughs> you got anywhere to be this weekend? No. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, yeah. You do. Get the fuck out of my face! I'm gonna go punch this. Uh, I'm gonna go punch this cinder block. A yeah, more you, time. that's the Jesus. <laughs> This concrete statue of Kite, Kite's entire family. <laughs> it's just a concrete statue of Kite. And you get outside, like, okay, that went, that went, that went well. He's a weirdly agreeable guy, and he doesn't know who you are. So, yeah. you you don't look like you're worth fighting. So why would he want to kill you, kid? You know. Yeah. And presumably, I'm like, he's he's not fucking with the League of Villains, but presumably, I'm looking to join them. So what does he what does he care? Yeah, he's he's out. He's out. He got out of the game. He just wants to fight people again. Good call. Being being a villain's too much politics. He's just a thug. Well, I mean, you've just been hearing all this. Yeah, I'll go find Aizawa. Where's the ringer? Maybe Daibo knows. Yeah. Huh? So I always knew that doctor was weird. I think I think 
Rafa's retired from the villain stuff. I am the knight. Jesus, <laughs> where did you come from? Just popped up out of the grass. <laughs> I'm in your pocket. When you, there was, the, there's nothing for you to hide behind. Where were you standing? I was always behind you. I wasn't standing. I was in your pocket. <laughs> God. <laughs> Keep it down, everybody. We're still at the near shot. Head on down to the beach and see what you can find out. I'll be here. Got it. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. Oh. Hey, Onward. hey, you want me to go with you? Uh, didn't you like gouge his eyes out? That's this guy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's that guy. Back into the grass. With the concrete melting. Yeah. You just like lay back down in the grass. I'm like, it's like disappeared. I'm like, Kai, what are you? I can see. You kind of shimmy a little bit. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> Very they good. look like they mowed that grass this morning. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Just a lawn. I dug a hole. I'm in the hole. He's like got the blood in her face. If it bleeds, we could kill it. <laughs> yeah, I'll walk down to the beach. Just cut up the turf. He's laying underneath it. Fucking <laughs> strip. I am the sod man. Get down to the beach. There's a guy there. Um, he's wearing like shorts and a tank top. Uh, he's pretty tan. Eye patch. No, like short black hair. His eyes, like his eyes are closed, and his mouth is kind of just like he's like muttering to himself. But he's like doing martial arts, and he's like practicing. But it's like very gentle, like sweeping motions and stuff. And you think he's like listening to the ocean. Oh, he's doing like some tai chi shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it. He's one. God, he's, he's old. He's he's one. He does like he does like everything though, <laughs> even like the not useful shit, like tai chi yeah. and aikido. You know, like. Does he like get to a good kind of pausing point? No, he's just still going. But like, how close do you get? Get like 15, 20 feet. As soon as you get within like thirty feet of him, he like his head like turns towards you, and you can tell he hears you. This is a good hearing. But he just continue, he continues doing his thing until you get about fifteen feet. I'll stop about fifteen feet. Close enough. Totally. Opens his eyes, and they're a little marbly, but he doesn't look blind. <laughs> UA. I never forget a face. Evil what? Uh, at the moment, UA. Huh. And you mean that too. <laughs> so you know you don't, you don't even have to roll to lie. <laughs> He's telling it so like good. He, he would know if you're lying. The, the the best part about this is is like this is legitimately also a moral conundrum for Walker. This whole fucking thing. What brings you so far out here? Um. Hopefully some answers. I've been looking for him for a decent while now. I'm out. Yeah, no, that's what I that's what I was told. That's fine. I'm just um I'm not looking for you specifically as much as the people you might know. And who might I know, hero student? Well, hopefully, uh Hopefully the person at, you know, the top if I wanted to talk to about, I don't know, changing sides. So far as I've heard, the man on top is in prison. Well, I guess you're talking uh, one for all, then yeah. The, uh, all for one. Yeah, all for, all one. for one. I always get them mixed up. You're good, you're good. Num number two, I guess. Uh, Somaro Shigaraki. <sighs> That grating brat. I don't know why anyone with any self-respect would want to see him for induction, but I know him, yes. Uh, he does, like, stop when you mention Tomura, and he, like, actually just turns to look at you. Bigger, and I can, t I can tell, like, you're doing the whole, like, clairvoyance thing and, like, Really reading into my answers. And no, I'm just life. trying to figure out what's in your pocket. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> a, a rotisserie chicken. You pull, <laughs> yeah, you pull a whole chicken out. Bucket of chicken I picked up on the way home. Uh, you get him out? No, or, no I'm okay. not going to get him out. I'm going to say bucket of chicken I picked up on the way home. Buckets of chicken don't move. Well, this one does. It's raw. This is my literal, literal bucket of chicken. Wrong. Do you, barrel of chicken. Is, okay, he like is he is he like saying he wants to see the chicken? Yeah, he knows okay. there's someone in your someone in your pocket. Or yeah, something. This is this is this is my uh, emergency chicken. Hey. Dive bowl? <gasps> no, you're the UA student. 
Yeah, Daibo's my uncle. I thought he was saying like he saw Daibo. <laughs> I'm like much smaller. See, that's why he's here with me. We're uh, kind of looking for greener, not greener, but uh, different pastures. We'll give you to kind of go along with the look. Uh, roll bluff. Good luck. Well, I mean, like, I kind of ain't. That's what I am. So it just depends yeah, on whether or not you pick up on But it. you're lying on his behalf. Mm -hmm. So would it be his? Or I guess, yeah, I guess I'm lying for it's him. It's you. Uh, Which sucks. I'll burn a hero point on this. And some, well, I'm I'll not, just burn I'm, some prestige. I'm going to tell you, unless you can think you can get into 40s with a hero point, probably don't. I can, I can use prestige on this. You have right? a prestige, don't you? I've got, I've got 13 prestige now. Why? Like 20 bucks. I got a donation. Oh my god, you did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could, you could. Just burn it all. Let's see, it's plus four each? Yeah. Yeah. What's... Did 10 get you to 40? What do I realistically need to hit here, Mr. DM? You don't, well, you don't need to spend the hero point if you spend a bunch of prestige. Yeah. Um, I won't tell you what he rolled, but high. Okay. Very high. I don't have a great... This I is, do have friendship. This is above what would be considered an impossible DC. Okay. I'm gonna... Now, we roll those often, but... This is important. I so, give you a plus two with a with a little hype, hype gift. So we're gonna bet the farm on it, we're gonna drop 10 prestige on it. So I can't utilize Ten. Bardic Inspiration. So that gives down. us... Keep, keep in mind, if you roll a one, that's just lost. It's just all gone anyway. Mm -hmm. I do have a reroll. Now. 46 a -roll. from uh, prestige, friendship, and... 46, yeah, and, 46 uh, from and prestige, height. friendship, and everything else. Plus, I have a D8. That'll do it. Natural 16. Oh. Hey! Plus... F so, 62? 60 62. You beat 64. 45. 45 is a lot. 45 is high. He just like narrows his eyes and turns his head when you say that. I have other questions, but I will answer them later. You are here looking for my contact information for the League of Villains, the defunct League of Villains, with one, survi one sole survivor who is, in my estimation, an incompetent boob. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good so cool. assertion of the situation. <laughs> I've not, like, I'll tell you honestly, I've not decided that that's, like, what I want to do, but I want to hear it from him, if I'm gonna. I'll make you a deal. Now I have a friend over there in that mansion who I'm sure you've already spoken to, who will be very happy about it. Oh, yeah, the... Everyone in Japan knows your prowess, chicken. Me? And I have a debt to settle with your uncle. Fight in the tournament this weekend. If you win, I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you lose, you will never see me again. Even now, it would not be particularly difficult for me to escape you. What do you think, bud? I mean, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm here to do what we need to do. Yeah, we're in. He's in. Do you run like super fast? You speak in riddles. I'm a very good swimmer. Oh. I'm not. I'm semi buoyant. I didn't float for a while. So you said Daibo is your uncle. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be interested to participate in this weekend's tournament then. Maybe you should go speak with him. I'm sure he can tell you everything you need to know. Okay, cool. We'll do that then. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Oh, and the last thing. The tournaments, well, they're all fights to the death. I hope that's not a problem for you. No. No worries. Now he knows you're lying, but that's okay. <laughs> he actually kind of just like smiles a little bit at that. 
He goes to shake your hand before you leave. Mm. I don't know if I trust that. Yeah. He doesn't have a, a joy buzzer or anything like that, you know? Yeah, what the hell. Is that a riddle? I shake his hand. Yeah, you shake his hand. Everything you want to know about the League of Villains and my contacts there, if any of them remain free. All you have to do is win. No pressure. No pressure. Schoolboy. I almost said something. I almost said something stupid. Don't do that. Uh, oh, <laughs> intrusive he's, he's, thoughts. He's fucking intrusive with you. thoughts. <laughs> he's fucking with you right now. Yeah, that's. I, I'm picking that up. Like, eh, okay, it's fine. Don't let him get into your skin. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll get set up this weekend then. We'll leave him. We'll fucking leave him be. Okay. What kind of riddle is to the death? I can't figure it out. <laughs> you guys get back to the group. Buddy, I think we need a plan B. I like talking to him. It was kind of fun. If you participate in this tournament, he will tell you everything he knows about the League of Villains. You have yeah, to win. Kill somebody you have to win. Otherwise, you're getting killed. Well, maybe you don't have to kill them, but they'll die if they lose. Like someone else will kill them? Possibly. You need to go talk to Daibo about it. He will know. And Rafa's has already said he's not participating this weekend. No. So Rapa, it's this champion that Rafa was talking about. Well, Rafa is fighting. He's not fighting the big guy. You think he's probably, he'd probably be like an undercard. Uh. Especially because he's new to town. So it's not like a tournament. It's like a you sign up for an individual. Uh, yes, but there's also a tournament format. Oh, okay. So he probably signed up for like a side fight kind of thing. So I gotta kill like how many people? Three. Oh. You don't have to kill them, but you have to defeat three people, knowing that they'll almost certainly die as a result of your actions. Oh. Oh no. Guys, I don't feel so good. I am the knight. <laughs> yeah. Um. That might have been a dead. We stuck our hands in the this, in the horrible underbelly of the criminal world, hoping to find some things, and they gave you an answer you don't like. Do you think it would have been that hard to actually just, like, beat the tar out of him? Do you think he's that good of a swimmer? I mean, we could try. If it, if it doesn't work, we lose our only lead. As we're just, like, huddled with Isaac. <laughs> I feel much better about beating him up than, like, three random people that are going to die. I don't... I it doesn't feel good. would prefer to not tack on to my body count. You guys are talking to Izawa about this now? or Yeah. Izawa just... Wait. <laughs> You're not seriously thinking about this. First of all, we're not signing you up for a death match with a bunch of thugs and criminals. That's horribly irresponsible, even for such a valuable lead. But also... If all of the matches are fights to the death, wouldn't this island of convicts and escapees run out of warriors pretty quickly? You think he was fucking with us? I think he talks in riddles. That is a good point. I feel like there'd be a lot more, like... Like a lot less people? Yeah. Maybe he was just... He said my uncle knows about this, which is totally weird because my uncle just like cuts hair, and you know, let's plays go cards. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go talk to Zhao's uncle. Do you think your uncle is part of the eighty percent Zhao or part of the twenty percent? Oh, I mean, he totally wants to be left alone and like kept to his own stuff. All right. But now he's great. We can go talk to Rapa again, or we can go talk to Zhao's uncle, which I didn't intend to speak to him anyway. Let's start. I think starting with Zhao's uncle is going to get us more mileage. I think if I go talk to Rapa again, he's probably going to turn my skull inside out. My uncle really likes Kite. But who doesn't? Kite's awesome. Back in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Tony <laughs> You guys, uh, yeah, we're yeah, gonna we're gonna, talk to Daibo. we're gonna head to Daibo's shop. Okay. You guys get there. Well, don't worry. We're just gonna talk for a couple minutes and run in stream. 
you guys get there, it's this like quaint little uh, barber shop on like the corner in downtown. Down on the corner. I saw it stealthing, but you three can kind of walk around and uh, well, people know you two, so that's good. Yeah. yeah. No one should mess with you guys because everyone knows who you are and you guys are kind of you know pretty well liked, but also because your uncle is who he is. So you guys get to this shop and there's this kind of sketchy tall uh, guy with like big bags under his eyes and just like short hair and like a little, tiny little poofy like ponytail um and he is just like spinning these uh sh like hair shears around on his uh fucking finger and as, as soon as he sees you guys he kind of straightens up oh um Zhao Fei Seven how's it going oh my god we're home it's good to see you again yeah you too I didn't think I'd be Seeing you for a while. How's UA? Oh, it's it's awesome. Everything's been so good. Oh, sweet man. Oh, well, um, your uncle will be excited to know you're here. Uh, he should be inside right now. I I think he might be passed out still. Oh, that's okay. Why don't we go wake him up? Yeah. Daibo. Yeah, yeah. You guys go inside, and he just like pours like water on him, or like you think it's water. It's like whatever is in this <laughs> bottle. Oh, by the yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> He just like dumps. He just dumps this liquid on him. The chicken. Oh, oh! He just like wakes up and he's saying, "What the hell, man?" He... Oh, like, oh hi, we're here, and we have so. And, and I need to ask you some things. He straightens his tie and just. Uh, Jiao Fei, uh, Kai, good to see you again. Uh, yeah. We 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 have to talk. Uh oh. Who's your friend? I'm oh, this is Walker. He's British. Yeah. He has uh, British humor. Well, I uh, uh, could always use a change of humor around here, I guess. Uh, you know, you say that, and then you've got the British all over, and you really don't want that. Xiao Fei, uh, what can I do for you? I mean, shouldn't you be in school right now? It's a Thursday. Oh, yeah. Is it a Thursday? Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. <laughs> we're out because we're hunting down super important information about villains. Uh, doing hero stuff. Yeah, okay. and, and one of them told me that I need to fight a whole bunch of people to the death and ask you about who the champion is. Well, what he means to say <laughs> is... <laughs> uh, yeah, we talked to somebody who knows that you run or are part of the fighting rings, and he said it was to the death, which is kind of weird, so we're here to corroborate. What? The fighting... Those assholes got the fighting ring back up. Yeah. Okay, the fighting ring is not a fight to the death. Ah. The title. See, I knew it. Everybody's the... super happy and having a good time. The title match is a fight to the death. Oh. But the last time the champion lost, they didn't kill him. I wish they had, but they didn't. I kicked his ass 14 years ago. Who? Who is he? I... Oh. Well. Yeah, maybe signed up for the tournament. Oh. Zhao Fei, no. All right. He gets a cigar and he lights it. If you're going to go into the tournament, I'm sure you got good reasons for it. You always had a good head in your uh, shoulders. and Shoulders? Yeah. Guess it's high time I told you a story about your dad. You're my dad. What? When we come back next session. I am the knight. Excuse me. Oh, no, I'm not. What? <laughs> no, he touched my leg. I thought it was a bug. Guys, thanks for watching. When we come back next session, we're going to pick up with the fight arc, the tournament arc at Chicken Island. Zhao Fei, you have to beat two mooks in the tournament bracket okay. to get to the final guy. The final fight is expected to be a fight to the death. But as Daibo will explain to you next week, it? it's kind of Victor's choice. Last time he beat the guy, apparently they let him live. Yeah. Daibo used to fight? Yeah. Who was your dad? Daibo has a quirk besides being a chicken? These questions and more besides being a drunk, <laughs> a drunk asshole. <laughs> the liver of a god? Yeah, it's his real quirk. Guys, when we come back next week, big details. Shit we've been wanting to know for a long time, finally. Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, you're right. Two weeks. It's my bad. I'll be in Hawaii. Skill oh, issue. Oh, you poor bastard. Skill issue, I know. <laughs> right. 
I just, it just agonizes me to leave you all behind. No. I mean, we won't be here next Monday either, so. Oh, yeah, we have okay. a rehearsal. I don't feel as bad then. I'm going to send you guys lots of beautiful pictures from Hawaii, though. I'll put them in the Discord. But uh, when we come back next time, fight arc, tournament arc on Chicken Island. In the meantime, Wednesday? Should be. Check out Mad King Thursday. Should be. Check out Elden yeah. Ring. Yeah, right. <laughs> no no Vast uh, no Horizons on Friday. It'll still be gone. And uh, when we see you next, guys, I hope you're excited. I know I'm going to be super excited. I've, I've wanted to do this for so long. Okay. This has been D20 House. Over and out. Good night, everyone.